Dark Moon on Switch. That's something I never thought would ever happen. Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon, released on the Nintendo 3DS as a part of the Year of Luigi celebration in 2013 on the 3DS. It was a great game. Many didn't prefer its more linear gameplay progression compared to the first game, but regardless, as its own thing, it can be seen as a great game. But I would never expect Dark Moon of all games to make the jump to the Switch specifically, for multiple reasons. Out of everything in the June Direct, there's a reason why Dark Moon got me screaming more than Mario Wonder. It was due to pure shock and what this could mean for the future. And I wanted to talk about that. Firstly, this is really awkward timing for a Switch port. Usually when you see these people talking about what games they would want on Switch, it's mainly stuff from the GameCube era. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Look, even outside of the obvious games, you get the point. Not many expected games from the 3DS era to be ported to Switch because it's not usual, it's too recent, some would say. Yes, Nintendo is known for doing the unusual, being different from all the other gaming giants, but even for Nintendo it feels like a stretch, at least to me. I get it can be warranted since it was still out very early in the 3DS's lifespan in 2013, but it still feels pretty early. Most people were expecting the original to be brought to Switch if anything, It'd make most sense, even if they're a fan of the sequel, it's just not usual. Yet they casually announced it anyway for 2024. And yes, I am fully aware games like 3D World plus Bowser's Fury exist, but Dark Moon feels like it's in a strange limbo of being that popular where it can warrant being brought to Switch, and where it just doesn't make any sense to bring it to Switch and they should just wait till next gen. Dark Moon, at least in my eyes, felt like it wasn't at the popularity to have such demand to be brought to Switch. And don't get me wrong, I love Dark Moon, and I'm very happy it's coming to Switch. I'm just confused why they're choosing this game now. But if we really look deep into this, it can become a bit more clear as to why Dark Moon. You may know that the developers of Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 are next level games, a studio Nintendo recently bought out to make exclusive games for them, obviously. Next Level Games was responsible for Luigi's Mansion 3 back in 2019, then moved to Mario Strikers Battle League in 2021. Now, their next project is likely this graphically enhanced port of Dark Moon for Switch. They probably don't want to do another Punch-Out game, they were responsible for the Wii one, or they want to work on something smaller to wait for the next gen, so they're making this port to fill out time. It's smart, but if this is another studio making Dark Moon on Switch, perhaps a smaller team at Nintendo EPD, this could have even bigger implications of f the future for ports or remakes or remasters for Nintendo. It might just be me, but I feel like it's become a lot more common to see these types of things from Nintendo, like Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, Metroid Prime 1 on Switch, Pikmin 1 and 2, and now Dark Moon coming to Switch. Don't get me wrong, this stuff is expected from Nintendo, but I feel like it's become a lot more common in the Switch era and we're only going to see more and more as time goes on. So I'm hoping with Dark Moon on Switch and all these other remasters and remakes and ports, the future is bright in terms of this type of content for Nintendo. Now that 3DS is dead, Nintendo has to act more in terms of preserving games. I'm hoping that behind the scenes here, Nintendo might have a dedicated team to work on preservation, whether it's for Nintendo Switch Online, the recent ports slash remasters, or something similar. I want Nintendo to realize that this stuff is a lot more important than how they're currently treating it. People want to play these games and not giving them access to purchase them isn't okay. So you get the point now. Preservation equals good, Dark Moon on Switch equals good, but can we talk about Luigi's Mansion as a whole for a second? The third entry sold over 12 million units. To put this into perspective, this puts it in the top 20 best selling Switch games ever. Right next to your Mario's, your Zelda's, and your Pokemans. The Luigi's Mansion is a big thing now. I'm positive Dark Moon on Switch is because of the success. They got the franchise even bigger, so now the perfect time to capitalize off of this. The Mario movie also just released, and I'm sure that this had a major part of this expansion of the franchise. Not just Luigi, obviously. I'm sure that they were holding on to Mario Bros. Wonder, mainly so they could capitalize off of the movie's success. Same with them with now working on a Peach game. Mario and friends are bigger than ever and I'm more than happy. The next thing I wanted to mention is Nintendo being more open to modifying 3DS games. 3DS games will take a lot more effort than GameCube games to port, 
Due to the 3DS's gimmicks like the dual screen being utilized or the gyro controls being different, the point is it's a lot more effort than most Nintendo consoles due to its gimmicks. Realizing that Nintendo is definitely open to more 3DS games on Switch is amazing. There's so many great series and games that deserve a chance on there, especially games that released in the last few years of the handheld's lifespan. Metroid Samus Returns, Yo-Kai Watch 3, Luigi's Mansion on 3DS, WarioWare Gold, Persona Q2, there's so many great games and remakes that released during the Switch era and got overshadowed because of games on Switch. Thus, if the eShop closing really does mean that Nintendo is going to prioritize some of those games over to Switch, I'll be happy. To wrap this video up, I want to take a moment and look over the little snippet of gameplay we were shown. Obviously, it is really just Dark Moon, but it looks so much better with the upscaled models. The health and map UI have both moved to the top left and top right of the screen, respectively, which makes sense. I do think we'll see some things completely remade, like Luigi's clothing has been completely retextured and it looks a lot better. There are still going to be motion controls but with separated Joy-Cons, so I don't know how efficient that's going to be. Even little details have been modified, like the voice lines are now perfectly in sync, unlike in the original. I do hope new content is added, like in the remake for the original on the 3DS, but it seems kind of unlikely. I think they'll just get their job done here with simple upscalings of models and that'll be it. Although I do hope they add new like modes to Scarescraper or something, that'll be very interesting. And that's really about it. Just like with my upcoming Peach video, these are going to be a lot shorter than my usual videos, so I apologize for that. But I'll try to get as much content out this month that I can. So I'll see ya!